Hey guys, uh, welcome to episode 5. Well, we had a bunch of stuff happening in the last episode. Uh, let me see if I can remember. We we sent Perdomo down, and we brought up Keller. It was okay, I guess. He only pitched four innings. He'll get a start or two to see how he ends up. Um, I know the rotation was all messed up, and then I was debating if I would play Kim, or not Kim, uh, Martinez twice in a row, which I'm not. I'm gonna just move the, I'm gonna skip his start and just move everyone up, because everyone's uh, rested. So I'm gonna uh, skip his start, play with uh, Montes. In this episode, uh, what else happens? Oh, the clerk got injured. Bad injury. So he's on the uh, 60 day injured list. Uh, did we bring up a Brayu last episode? I think we might have brought him up last episode. I know he pitched uh, back to back innings and it was pretty decent. So good start. Uh, what else happened? I know Birdie, they're like, they're just like throwing Birdie in there so much, but he's like. He started kind of poor, but he's, uh, his stats are coming, coming along, or not his stats, but his, his, uh, his performance has definitely improved from, uh, where he started. Uh, Richard's basically perfect. Not surprising. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm for forgetting anything. Oh, so we sent McBroom to double A. I would have sent him to triple A, but there's like kind of no. Oh yeah, we brought up uh, we brought up Henry Davis. Forgot about that. Um, these lamps are definitely not how I want them, but uh, we'll uh. I think I'll just customize it when I see the actual game. I don't even, are we facing a righty or a lefty? Righty. A good righty. A good righty. Oh, what are we? We're two and a half games back of the Brewers. Tied for first in the wild card with the Dodgers. Um, yeah. That's all I really need to remember there was nothing else I don't think just that uh, Henry Davis is up and we put him on the 40 man and we have a spot on the 40 man because the clerk is injured so once he comes off the 60 day IL someone's gonna have to be taken off the 40 man so the way the clerk kind of was shit like every time we threw him out there, he was trash. I'm probably gonna start him in Triple A. Like when he comes, when he comes off the eye. I don't know if I know. Sometimes they let you take a, a player off the injured list, uh, or just have him have him even though he's on the injured list. I don't. I wonder if I can play him in Triple A while he's still on the injured list and still have the 40 man spot open. But uh, we'll know who's coming off by the time that happens. Cause it's like three months, so he's gone for a while. That's why we brought up uh, Brayu, and yeah, uh, what do we got? Once, uh, once Leclerc came off, the bullpen looks a bit more normal. Smith is looking a little gross, but he's only pitched two point one innings, so hopefully that gets turned around a bit. Let's, um, let me see what this looks like when I start. Oh, I should, uh, also, I'm using a new, a new controller. Because, uh, I've been using, like, a third-party, uh, DualShock 4, and it's starting to feel a little grimy on the analog, so. Uh, I didn't get a, I didn't get a new one, I just... I'm using like uh, an older DualShock 4 I've had sitting around, which I, I don't use for a reason. The left stick is uh, kind of 
busted on that one too, but uh, it's only busted in one specific spot, so uh, which you might notice when I'm moving the PCI around that uh, just straight left on it is kind of weird. It'll start like freaking out, but it's like one specific spot, so uh, middle in and uh, middle away. I might have some problems, but uh. I'm not too worried. The just the actual like movement of the analog it's just way smoother on this one, so I'm making that change. So uh I don't think hitting would be is gonna be too weird, but pitching might be weird with the um whatever you call it, what's the name of it? Uh precision? Yeah, precision pitching. I was gonna have to go look for a sec. Um so yeah, new controller bunch of roster moves, a whole bunch of crazy shit happened. <coughs> um, I want to take a look at the budget. With that, like, Leclerc injury, if, um, we'll see how the relievers do, but, um, I mean, it is possible we make a trade for a reliever. I got, I got money, I got money to burn, it's my last year on the contract, so. I might as well take advantage of it. Um, oops. Trade. How do I get to... That's not what I want to go to. Oh, trades. Update trade block. Yeah. So it is possible we make a trade. I'll look. It's kind of early. But, uh... I mean, if I trade for someone, then someone else gets some like a bigger, a bigger piece gets injured, and then I gotta replace them. That could be a problem. So, I don't, I'm not ready to make a trade yet, but um, it's in the back of my mind. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's get into this game. Road game against the Phillies. Yeah, so I'm gonna just skip Martinez's start. Kind of. Oh, yeah, I think this is the correct order I'll go in. That gives Keller an extra day. Um, so we got Zach Wheeler. Right hander. Bobby Bradley against lefties. This might be my first game against a righty in a bit. I feel like that hasn't been happening too much. Um, Hayes. Let's, I think we gotta play Javis at third. I thought I was going to be able to play Davis's first start, but I don't think I will. I mean, I could put him at first. But, uh... I don't want to do that. So this looks... This looks okay. Yeah, I think this is fine. We'll see if it asks me to sit someone, but, uh... Okay, uh, see you after the game.
Zach Wheeler will be on the mound for game four. What do we need to know here Danny. Wow talk about a number that jumps out at you. This guy's whip which is walks to hits to innings pitch is less than one coming into this start. That's not an easy thing to do. That tells me one thing. Not only is his stuff good but he wipes people out quick. This is a real good pitcher. Striding in is Dylan Carlson. Carlson. He will lead right this one off today. Dylan Carlson. First delivery to him. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. A chance here to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Pirates. Mark, how do they go about breaking out the brooms on the road? Yeah, Maddie, you take a look at this lineup. The one thing that jumps out is the fact that they are last in stolen bases. They are station to station trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark, trying to get in good counts and drive the baseball out of the yard to create their runs. So here's Eduardo Escobar as he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. Dan D. Rowe, these Phillies as they begin play here today, they come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Nope. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Right. Altogether, a fine afternoon for baseball. 66 degrees, the game time temperature. One one hard hit toward the hole and in the left field for a one out hit. Boy Dero the game of baseball has changed there's so much velocity in the game that was a 96 mile an hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there you have to honor when a guy's throwing that hard 96 miles an hour you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off speed. So now it's Brian Reynolds. Yep, and he'll take a look at ball one. That batting average still well up there to begin play. Seven homers and 14 drills. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. The 3 0 Belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Harper, still ranging back. Gone! So it's a two run shot to right center. Eighth home run on the season for him. And that'll give the Pirates a two to nothing lead. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Bobby Bradley. Bobby. So look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at 3 and 1, and he's put him into another great hitting count. One out, nobody on. There's oh. ball four. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in That's this inning, it. so you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got oh. him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. So a runner at first with one out now. And up to the plate next is Andrew Vaughn. From the belt, the pitch as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. Fires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, D Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left handed batters. One there. 
Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. On to the bottom of the first at Citizens Bank Park. It's now 2-0 Pittsburgh. Frankie Montes gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, one of the strengths of this guy is handling right-handed hitters. Right-handers coming into this game are hitting under 250 against this guy, so he's doing a lot of things right when the right-handers step into the batter's box. So now into the box is Patel Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A high fastball is in there. And guys, as we take a look at the Pirates coming into this afternoon, they've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Matty, this team in there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Now a flare out to left center. Left fielder coming in. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. Hey, there's a case of a jam sandwich right there. Not that bad of a pitch, but he's able to just be strong enough to loop that one into left field. Dan, sometimes a jam sandwich tastes much better than a rocket right at somebody. Into the box now, number six. Off As the, the first pitch one. misses to him, it's ball one. He'll start play with that average down in the low 230s. One home run and seven driven in. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And a splitter is over for a cold third strike as he's left shaking his head one gone. Anytime you get rookies just that breaking into the big leagues, the right you have field. to expect a certain amount of this. There aren't any easy at bats at this level, and you really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. A ball and no strikes. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Pulled toward right center field. Reynolds is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Matt, I appreciate the way Bryce Harper plays the game. We all know he's just a great baseball player. He's one of the elite players in the game, and it's always a privilege to see him do his thing. Hopefully, he does just that in this one. In now, Kyle Schwarber, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Right. Here's the one and two delivery. Got him swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side is retired. Philly strand one. They trail things here two to nothing. New inning set to get underway. And stepping up is the shortstop, Oniel Cruz. For me, this is an important add-on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it. But keeping the pressure on, building that lead, that's how you bury someone. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. Throw is in time for the first out of the second. Time to take a look at the Philly D. Let's spot shadow Bryce Harper and why wouldn't we? He's only one of the best players in the game. He puts it on the line every night in the field and at the plate. At the 
plate now. Kurt Dowling. As he'll swing and miss it, a first pitch slider at strike one. Well, it's been a lopsided contest, so money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. And they're off to a good start today, obviously, having already jumped out to the early lead. This one isn't in the books yet, but when you're going for the sweep and you have a nice lead like they do early on here, things are looking awfully good for the sweep department. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire, but what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. So here's Michael Chavis now. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Two out, nobody on. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. The throw to first He's is out. in time, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On now to the bottom of the second. Pirates on top, two to nothing. At the plate now is Ryan McMahon. Lifetime against this pitcher. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. McMahon. First delivery to him. Oh, that's it. With one down and in for ball three. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Vaughn is there and he has it for the out. That exists. The first Take a look at the Pittsburgh Pirates defensive lineup. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding percentage. They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones, and day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese oh, Hoskins. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. That is seven. The catcher, JT. Real Juco. To the plate now, JT Real Muto. Fouled away. 276, the average coming in for him. Four home runs, 13 RBIs. To, the, to one and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Phillies down in order. They're still down. It's 2 0. Back now in Philadelphia, home of the Phillies, who have certainly benefited from some solid pitching all season long. Entering the day, they rank in the upper echelon of several pitching categories, and that doesn't go unnoticed around the clubhouse. One of the position players told me, our pitching staff has a calming influence on the entire team. We know they're going to keep us in games, and flat out, they just get the job done, and that helps everyone play more relaxed and confident. It appears this group of pitchers is a real cornerstone of this ball club, guys. All right, Heidi, thank you. Here's the first pitch to him. 
Ball one, no strike. Slider that time, but it's two and two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed strike three. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that right late here. action that just three. darts at the last Dylan. minute. They're so tough oh, to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. At the plate, Dylan Carlson. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now a swing and a ball foul tip straight into the catcher's glove as he's able to hold on for the second out. He's really on a no roll right number. now on the mound. Back to back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. Eduardo Escobar standing in. He'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Line shot to third in the side. Digging in will be Scott Kingery. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Scott Kingery. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. Uh, this is pulled. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that That's extends his hitting streak to six it. games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Stepping in now, Zach Wheeler, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's check swing. It's not a great angle, and everything happens so quickly, so they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. First pitch, a check at first. Runners back. First offering on its way. Batting left handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Hey, you could tell right there the hitter was almost fooled by that pitch, expecting the nasty slider to break down and away, and had hung in the middle. Not a surprise to see that low splitter there. Anything with downward movement like that is going to be at the top of the list in a double play situation. Runner at first here, one man out. Drilled to the left side. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. 
A lot of traffic hitting the base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play double ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. Into the box now, number six. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Back to back. One ball and two strikes to count. Here comes the one two. Hard hit ball to short. Scooped up to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They're down two to nothing. Brian Reynolds, he'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. Ball one to start the at-bat. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. This is skied into short left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's there and records the first down. The first base is number 44, Bobby Bradley. And now here is Bobby Bradley. He's hitless in the first two games of the series, 0 for 8. Now here it comes. Hey. And it's the outside corner. It's strike oh, one. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. Close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Wow, he puts a serious charge into this ball. Ends up splitting the two outfielders. Bangs up against the wall in right center, and he cruises into second, knowing he can't hit the ball much harder than that. Andrew Vaughn the next to bat as he hits one on a line to left field. Uh, this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second out. Up next for Pittsburgh, the shortstop, O'Neill Cruz. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, O'Neill Cruz, runner in scoring position with two gone. Wheeler pauses first pitch on the way as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one even though it's early on at that time but a good eye one and two that's lifted the other way out to left and no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning one left for Pittsburgh they're up two to nothing. Dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. 
Harper. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Two. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. The 2 2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So with one away let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. and boy you can see it there a couple of power arms out there as both of these guys are working in the high 90s. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Kyle Schwarber struck out in his last trip. Three, two, one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Certainly not showing any signs of intimidation with these middle the of the order base guys. Base That's back to back K's. Right. And the three and four guys are harmlessly Big back man. in the dugout. Here's Ryan McMahon now. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes. To a bouncer to the left side. Reined in. Throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail things here two to nothing. So now here is Kirk Dowling. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Dowling. First pitch of the AB now. As he lays off a fastball too long. The 2 1. Right side hit hard. And that is through into right field for a single. Many guys fall victim to the breaking ball and want to get out in front of it and they end up rolling it over to the pull side. Batter was able to execute, stay inside, keep his hands back and drive it the other way. Standing in now, Michael Chavis. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. No mistake what he was sitting on looking for a dead red piece of cheese middle of the plate and he didn't miss it. So now to the plate Frankie Montes now a bunt attempt here there to make the catch is Hoskins and that's the first out of the inning. The right field, three. Dylan Carlson. Stepping in once again is Dylan Carlson. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. From the belt the pitch he swings and sends a bullet to right field. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. The batter number 14, second baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Two on, two out, and that will bring up Eduardo Escobar. He 
set and the pitch. He takes it to the opposite field high and deep to left. Schwarber retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Pirates strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. No, they have not scored yet, but they have been successful in running up the pitch count, something they feel will eventually pay dividends on the scoreboard as the starter gets tired and they are forced to go to the bullpen. For now, they're sticking to the plan. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Way to go for the Phillies. The first baseman. Three. Oscar. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Reese Hoskins oh and is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. The 1 1 home. Swing and a liner. But this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. The bat, the catcher, Jake T. Real Yuko. So next to bat will be JT Real Muto. The bouncer to the left side. And that's the He's second out. out. The batter, number seven. Second baseman, Scott Kingery. So the bases are empty with two gone now, and that'll bring up Scott Kingery. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They trail it here two to nothing. Digging in, the switch hitter, Brian Reynolds. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they face. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Here it comes. Ball one, no fight. Well, that's ball three, and the Pirates right now would do anything to get that leadoff guy on. They would welcome a walk. The 3 1. Line drive to center field, and Reynolds has himself a base hit. With that, the Buckos have their leadoff man aboard to kick off the inning. So a line drive single to center makes it two hits for him this afternoon. And you can see where he ranks on the Pirates team leaderboard. Currently tops on the ball club in that category. To the plate now, Bobby Bradley. That's a ball. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. He doubled his last time through. She tipped their hand. They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right hander start to loosen. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one into the second deck and gone. A two run blast to straight away right field home run number three here in the early going as the Pirates have opened it up now four to nothing. 
I know all home runs count the same, but that one went a little bit farther than most. That's what he does. A power hitter with a challenge. Fastball's going to go a long way when he's on his game. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And that is going to be all for Zach Wheeler. Just five innings of work for him here as he really never found his rhythm in this one. Marcus Walden takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Number 64. Plate now, Andrew Vaughn. Andrew. He'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Lost that time, laid off for a ball. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at 3 and 2. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now that now into the box, O'Neill Cruz. He Ooh. flew out in his last day being inside, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. Smoke toward the hole. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. Oh. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at now first. Back. What a play. Kurt Dowling. Next, here is Kurt Dowling. He's one for two with a good eye, one and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. But the Pirates do get a couple here on this two run home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's now 4 0 Pittsburgh. Nicholas Castellanos is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of any number six. First pitch on the way. Hey. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Lifetime in this matchup, he's gone two for six. Moves full. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. The 3 2 pitch. Back up the middle. Diving try, but it's through into the outfield. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard That's single up the middle. Number yeah, four. watch your lips right there, Dad. Right sent it back right where it came Mark from. Hey. Into the box, Cattell Marte as he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. And that'll get down for a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Danny, how frustrating is this right here? First and third, you got problems all over the place. Well, you come right out of the dugout, right? You're starting an inning fresh. You're expecting to have a one, two, three inning. You look up, and all of a sudden, first and third, nobody out. It's time to make some good pitches. In now, number six, as he one looks out. at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Oh, for two for him that time, but he hangs with it to stay alive. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. 
Hit in the air to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. A tag, and he's out at the play to double play. And never much of a chance to even think about scoring there. What a big second out. You talk about certain plays that dictate whether or not your ball club wins or loses a baseball game right there. Just an unbelievable job by the outfielder to get off such a strong throw without getting a chance to get his feet set up underneath him. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. 0 for 2 from him so far into that time with a fastball strike 2. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Now a move over to first, and he'll dive back in. In the air now, out to left. Vaughn able to track it down for the third out. Philly strand one. They trail here four to nothing. Dylan Vitensis is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Dylan. Now at the plate, Michael Chavis. Strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Pitch on the way as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for two now. And he got him. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Rafael Ortega will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 67, Rafael Ortega. First pitch coming, here it is. And he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. Got him. And prior to the 2 2, he'll step out of the box and ask for time. Bases are empty, one man out. Chopped toward the second baseman. And there are two away now. The right fielder, number three, Dylan Carlson. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Dylan Carlson. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A-B. He hit that ball on the screws. Ground ball, foul down the left side. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four of this series. Set. Here's the 0-1. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Aye. 
A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Marte has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Pirates. They lead it four to nothing. Will Smith is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 52, Will Smith. Last half of the seventh here, coming forward the veteran outfielder Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time, one away. The third baseman, number 24. Ryan. Next, it'll be Ryan McMahon, his career line. I got the count. Oh, into. One out, nobody on. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and account 0 2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. JT Real Muto would be next. The 3 2 pitch is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Concentrate in my balance, give life a better chance. I'm too in. Brad Hand will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Now with the plate is Eduardo Escobar. He has no prior history against this pitcher. with the first pitch here it comes standing in from the right side as he now here's the pitch and here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning well he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there he had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Brian Reynolds will stand in here, but before he does, let's take it back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Clean up base. Now here it comes. Fastball was too much for him there. Swung right through it. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to.
Hard hit ball to second. Kingery's there. And there's out number two. The first baseman, number Bobby Bradley will stand in again as we flash it back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. You were on that fastball middle away. That slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, six inches. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Down in order go the Pirates, but they hold a four to nothing lead. Brian Abreu will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Brian Abreu. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And now it'll be the catcher, JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto. Here's the first pitch to him. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. The Buckos are maintaining a slim lead in the late going of this matchup. Even though they're not division foes, it's for bragging rights, and this is what it's all about. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. And the throw is in time. Real Muto is retired, and there's no one away. Good job of getting Second him to chase the ball in the dirt right there. Hey, yeah. also, credit the Gingery. catcher for keeping it close and finishing it off with a good throw to first. That's harder than it looks, but big league catchers make it look easy sometimes. And in steps Scott Kingery. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Back at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now, three and two. Inside, he misses ball four. I know one thing, he earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Gene Segura will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Here's the first pitch. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He'll start play with that average down in the low 230s. One home run and three driven in. Three two full count now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three two count. You send the runner and if it's a bad pitch it's ball four. This is slowly hit to short, probably too slowly to get to. And indeed, he won't look at second. He'll just flip it on over to first to take the sure out. The center fielder, number four, Patel Marte. Next up is Patel Marte. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. Set, here it comes. Ball one, no strike. The one one to short. He's got it. And eight He's innings out. have come and gone now as the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. They're down four nothing.
Sir Anthony Dominguez enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. And stepping in, Andrew Vaughn. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Ninth inning begins as ball the one. first pitch is taken for ball. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Now the three and two pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Well, when you go with a slider there on a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Digging in next, Oniel Cruz. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he just didn't the get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. Stepping in now, Kurt Dowling. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Count goes to one and two. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. Stepping in next, Michael Chavis. He's working on a one for three thus far. Three and two here. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now a check swing here. And no swing, says the home plate umpire. Not even an appeal. It's ball four. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there. And you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. Your Henry attention, Davis please. will start to Pitching loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll Double bat with 32. two on and two out here. Henry Davis. First pitch coming. Here it is. Count one and The 1 0 home. Count even now with one and one. From the belt, the pitch. Well, two, two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. He 
He's fallen oh, behind now, three and one. Two on, two out with a base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch that he can hit one out of the park on. The three one hit to third. McMahon's got it. Throw on the first he is in time. And that snuffs out the Bucko rally as the inning is over. A couple of walks in the inning, but nothing on the scoreboard. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Aaron Fletcher, a lefty standing six foot even, takes over the pitching duties here. Number 41, Aaron Fletcher. Now it'll be number six. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Lays off 1 0. Oh. Swing and a ground ball to third. And that's the first down. The right field, number three. Harper. Here's Bryce Harper now. Flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. No balls in one strike. Oh, and two oh, count now. Yeah, that pitch is the equalizer. Left on left slider, down and away. He can spot it up when he needs to. That pitch is almost unhittable. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Kyle. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Kyle Schwarber, and he needs foul. Now the 2 1. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. And he is in there. Hey, this game is close right here, but I'll take you inside the mindset even if it was a blowout. I know the team's down to their final out, but you'll be hard-pressed to ever find an offensive player. Give away an A-B. Nice infield single right there to keep the line moving. So now to the plate, Ryan McMahon. And he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Hot shot toward third. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Out of the play, Reese Hoskins. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. And there's a cold yep. strike two as now they're down oh, to their dude. final strike this afternoon. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Throw to first to be in time for the final out, and the Pirates go on the road and sweep their rivals. When you shut a team out four nothing, it kind of feels like you won like eight or ten to nothing. But this one was really never out of reach. Really good pitching and great defense to help them get the win. Four nothing, the score this afternoon. 
the Pittsburgh Pirates jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Frankie Montes takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. For no pump fake, yeah, yeah. Everybody know y'all like the funk fake, yeah, yeah. Jay wants to get with me like some duct tape. Coming easy to me, do that in one take, yeah, yeah. Make my own way by here for the winter tide. Hunting for the jump, they all know I'm bona fide. Many others just to keep the haters occupied. Work too hard. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Pirates. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For Philadelphia, no runs, seven hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Okay. All right, uh, pretty good game. Uh, another, uh, game where I had all my, well, not all my, but I had, I had a bunch of the offense in the first inning, which is, I feel like 90% of my offense is always early, usually in the first, usually I start, I come out and I get a couple hits, two hits and a walk or something usually in the first, and then, then I, I drop off, I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know what that is, but, uh. That's how it works, almost always. But, um, big uh, two-run home run in the first by, uh, let me go to the box, or, or not the box, or game one. Uh, I think it was, oh, this is going to take too long to scroll through. Fuck that. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, two-run home run in the first with uh, Reynolds, which I power swung on. Which, uh, probably a good thing I did, because it was, like, away down and away and I pulled it but uh power swung and I like squirted it up like perfectly and then uh Bradley except for that disgustingly pathetic strikeout later in the game he was uh great he had a walk a double and a home run and that home run was disgusting like 433 feet just a filthy home run probably the filthiest home run I've hit this season It was, it was disgusting. Uh, what else? Anything? I think it was just Reynolds and Bradley, right? Well, other guys had hits and walks, but... I know uh, Chavis had a hit. Um, Chavis had a hit and a walk. Dowling had a, uh, an opposite field single. Vaughn had a walk. Uh, oh, Escobar had... Did Escobar have a single? He had like a opposite single too. But yeah, and uh, Montes was good. Uh, Smith was good out of the bullpen. Yeah, he was really good. Uh, Bray was good, and Fletcher was uh, Fletcher was pretty good. Yeah, he let two on. Well, I let two on with him, but you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah. That's, uh, we just swept the Phillies in a four-game set, so. I'll take that after getting swept by the Cubs. The Phillies are, I don't know if they, yeah, they weren't doing good, so they weren't, like, really, but they might do good later in the wild card, wild card or something, so, uh, yeah, good win. Good win, um... I guess we'll listen to this recap. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the NL Central, the Pittsburgh Pirates grabbed the four-game series sweep as they got the best of the Phillies in Citizens Bank Park, four to nothing. Ian Happ was... Okay. Um... Yeah. Uh, Brewers... 
I thought the Brewers... Oh, did they play... They play earlier on the same day, so it showed it to me. I swear we saw that last... Last episode that they lost to Miami. I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so we got... Three games against St. Louis. Oh, I'm glad I'm gonna get to play... Oh, we're at home now? Yeah, we're at home. Kinda wanted to play in Arizona, but... I don't know if we played the Diamondbacks last year. Maybe. Uh, 16 and 9. Um, I guess we could just jump into the Sims. I don't think I have anything to do, really. No, I don't, I don't think so. Let me just throw a save down. Yeah, uh, the hitting with the new controller felt okay. Uh, pitching was kind of weird, but it was it worked. Like it was hard to like hit the pinpoint on like the swipe. Uh, I noticed that I was always like a little off to the left. I think the right analog might drift a little to the left because I noticed that when uh, every time I would swipe, it would be like just a little off to the left. It's easy to see on like the fastballs, we get to come straight down. Um, but yeah, I think we're good just to jump into the... Oh yeah, and uh, Henry Davis, I, I got in there and uh, oh, I thought I was a little tired, eh? Hmm. Uh... I mean, I could put Martinez in. That might be the smart thing to do. I mean, he's not dead tired, but... I really don't like st stern guys who aren't fully... If I do that, then I'm gonna have to pitch with. Oh well. Yeah. Um, hmm. Then I'll have to pitch with Martinez next time. Ah, let's just let Icob go. With uh. Let's let Icob go. He's, he's almost full. I think Kim should be fully rested. I don't know. I don't know the percentage. I should probably know that by now. All right, lefty. Everyone is exhausted. Dowling. Okay, so Dowling's. Dowling's gonna get replaced now. Do I put Darno or? Oh, is he already in? Yeah. Oh, he's at first. Oh. Well, let's do. If Dowling's gonna, let's put it there, and then we'll at first base. We'll put um Darno. There we go. That's I like that. And uh, we'll put uh, he's Newman. Oh God. All right, who's Chavis replacing here? Hayes, probably. Yeah. Third. It's still probably gonna ask me to replace a bunch of these guys. So Carlson, Escobar, Reynolds, on Darno, Davis, Chavis, Newman. Yeah. Okay. So. Um. Left field. Probably gonna have to put Ortega again. Which means I'm going to put Darno in the cleanup spot. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's, that's fine. Yeah, okay. So this will be Davis' first, first full game and his first uh, start as catcher. 
I think Ikov should be okay. He's just missing like a sliver. It's basically nothing. What are we? Oh. What's it bounce? Time to get the weekend started with Friday Night Baseball from Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals baseball is straight ahead next on the show. This guy's a pretty good pitcher, and I was looking through his stats, and one thing jumped out of me, a sub 1.20 whip coming into this start. That tells me a couple of things. One, he's not afraid to throw strikes, and two, when he does throw strikes, he throws quality, and he still gets people out. It'll be fun to... Okay. Watch this guy work. Oh, oh, it's going too fast. There we go, I stopped it. I basically missed the whole first inning, but nothing happened. Ikov's fine. He didn't need that little sliver. Watch him like not get a perfect or like a complete game because uh, I put him in like that. Rattles. Let me turn this down a bit. No! Alright, extra innings. There's his first blown save of the year, I think. Dowling? I think that's uh, Davis's first hit. Uh oh. Oh no. Seems so bad at stealing. I don't know why they let Smith hit there. Holy, we're going to the 17th. No. 
Nice Ortega, holy. Why are they still, this is his third inning. Unbelievable. What? What time is it? Uh, where am I? Oh man, it's over? Man, I thought this game was never going to end, but it did. And any time you can win a marathon game like that, it feels awfully good. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Will Smith claims the win out of the pen his first. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan All Rosa, right. Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. Four hits for Escobar. Another home run for Reynolds. Let's look at the pitching. I can't believe that, why did they why did they leave uh, Smith in for three innings I didn't even notice any lefties down like in the order because he I don't know maybe there was I didn't notice it I noticed when I glanced at it the second time he came out it was all righties or maybe it was the first time first time he came out he was up against all righties I mean, he pitched three innings and didn't give up a run, so. <laughs> They're finally using them. Maybe too much. Alright. That's a bit. Can I turn those off? Uh, uh, probably under audio. Oh. Why, why is it locked? Is it not, I'm on default mix, is that why? Oh, I can just do a custom. Ah, whatever, I'll just skip it. Well, it is annoying as hell. I don't know, it'd be... Let's just, uh... I'll just skip it. There might be something I want to listen to eventually. Um, okay, another good picture. Flaherty. Let's make sure. Uh, let me make sure the scouting is fine. Oh, what? What? No assignment. It didn't notify me they were done. Oh. Why didn't I get notified of that? May 23rd. Wait, May 23rd? Oh, May 3rd. Oh man, we're lo we lost three days. Well, I'm not reloading my save, so. Whoops. Why don't I remember that? May 3rd would have been. Oh, it would have been the last episode. Fuck, and I forgot to do it. Well, that sucks losing three days of scanning time. Catcher. Sure, we can't have enough eight potential catchers. Sylvester Park, shortstop. Um. Let me, um, just want to take the, ro the roster for a sec. 
Well, we've already scouted the first basin. What's third base like? Couple B potentials. They're kind of mid 20s, though. Maybe I'll do one more on the east for infield. Whoops, did I do that right? No. Seventy-five. I mean, not not the greatest numbers there. Discipline. I might do this Jermaine guy. That might be the last I do for East Region. For I'll I'll get him to look for something else. All right, Central. Oh, we got a bunch of guys in Central. Closing pitcher. I think this is who I wanted to do next for Central. Yeah, 2020. Oops, whoops. 20. So next year, ready. 80 potential, but no closer. I'll take that. All right, international. Tom Jang. Mm, this guy's got a crazy connection. Or contact. I guess that works too. Is there anyone that's ready for next year? Jack McLeod. We've got a lot of guys in the central to. Or, I'm looking at international. Yeah. Uh, Remo. Oh, this guy's 75 potential, and he's ready next year. Yes, please. That guy looks sick. Lowest stats 70 in speed, and they're all 80s. And he's a oh, I thought he was a switch hitter. I don't care. That's 80, all 80, except for uh, vision and discipline, and they're only at 75. This guy could be amazing. This guy looks like maybe like a first, first round pick. All right, let me throw another save in here. That's so weird. Usually I don't miss that. Uh, maybe it was like half asleep recording that last episode. Okay. Oh, did I? Yeah, so this is how we're gonna do it. Yeah, okay. All right, Kim. Kim should be, hopefully he's fully uh, rested. Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. It was just like, uh, right-hander. How did uh, Davis do? He had, uh, so he had six of bats in the last game. Get a hit and a walk. All right, so we got um, got a righty, so Bradley's back in. Uh, Bond, Cruz, Dowling, Hayes. Okay, I'll leave Chavis out of this game. <laughs> We'll see what it does here. Reynolds, okay. I'm gonna have to bring up a better, uh... I might have to bring up that Sandy guy, cause... We need a better, uh, fourth infielder. Um... 
Cruz, Dowling. Switch, switch, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay. Or maybe I put... Hmm. Well, it's, I bet one of these other guys is going to need to come out too, so... Escobar, so second base. Uh, I put new. Maybe I have Chavis. Well, Chavis is tired. Let's see if it says he's too tired. Yeah. He's he's got slightly more energy. Okay. A lot of guys pretty tired. So we're first in home runs against and fifth in home home runs. First I'll take it. start for St. Louis in this one. Dan Fleezak, what do you got? Big arm here, Jack Flaherty. Call him Jack Flash. This guy throws in the upper 90s, 97 to 100 miles an hour. Great life up at the Yeah, this zone. could be a tough game. Good hard breaking ball. He has tremendous mound presence. Gets the ball. Throws it in a hurry. Oh boy. Nice. Alright, he's gone five. That's the game there. I think it was Birdie who gave up all the runs, right? Most of them. Oh, Fletcher gave up one. And Birdie was making like tons of progress, lowering all his, lowering his ERA and whip. Oh, that's probably all back up. Alright. 
Great Sunday action lies ahead, but first, here's what happened in the major leagues on Saturday. In the National League... Skip. Today marks the end of the optional and outright periods. Players who had previously cleared waivers will need to clear them again if they're all done in your roster move. Oh. So it'll count as like another... Um, I don't track that kind of stuff, so... We're just, we're just gonna roll. I'm winging it. Alright, Martinez versus Junis. Okay, um, let me take a look at these guys again. Yeah, Birdie. I'm not ready to send Birdie down. Still got a whip under 1.5. They haven't used Sederlin recently, I don't think. Our guys have been uh, going five, so. <clears throat> okay, uh. Final two. All right, let's get into it. I think it's the final, final game of the road trip. <laughs> Carlson's gonna have to sit. I feel like he's been tired for like three games. So who do we... Hmm. Bring in Davis for this game? Did I bring in... I brought in Chavis last game, right? Yeah, he's tired. Davis... Alright, let's just see if it asks me to... I'm definitely gonna have to bring in or bring up someone. I mean, Ortega doesn't have too many at bats, but uh. Um. Who do we put in the leadoff spot? Vaughn? Who do we put Vaughn? Then we put. Down like here. Or actually, this is stupid. Let's just put Cruz up here. There we go. That's better. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes here. Okay. Man, we're so bad at stealing bases. Last in the league. And we got a bunch of young guys with okay speed. Got like Newman and Hayes and uh afternoon baseball well, maybe that's now it. on a lazy Sunday afternoon at uh, Stadium in St. Louis. Today, uh Newman Hayes Cruz my little speed Pittsburgh Pirates and the St. Louis Cardinals. It's baseball on the show. I guess we don't have that guy that comes out like off the bench just to steal, so I mean, if we bring up Ciani, that's probably him, I think. Do the pitching in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually... Yeah, I think if, uh, if Ortega is, like, still bad at, like, 60, 65 at-bats, I'll probably swap him for Ciani. Which means he's going to have to get DFA'd. around the triple. There we go, Ortega. You can steal a base if you want. Nice. 
Sack fly. Oh, even better. Man, Reynolds is disgusting this year. He went five. Oh, breathe. Nice. Oh, no, Richard. Was that Richard's first run? He's let in. I don't really get bringing Will Smith in against a bunch of righties, but. Nice. Dowling's first to run, I think. Alrighty. Some more good work out of the bullpen as he notches his tenth save of the season right there. Nice job. Five to three, the final score in this afternoon's game. Pittsburgh led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Carlos Martinez takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. David Bednar earns the save out of the bullpen, his tenth. So that'll do it for us, for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleasant. Okay. That was, uh... Pretty good with the, uh... Pretty good pitching there. From, uh, Martinez. That might have been Rodriguez's first runs of the season. I guess I can look at it. Inside the show with Justin Skip. Okay, uh... Yeah, that should be able to tell, right? Yeah, two. <laughs> Couldn't be perfect forever. I don't think anyone's perfect anymore. Oh, well, Brave, but he didn't start the season. Because Ben and I blew that one save. <laughs> yeah, Dalek's first home run. He's kind of falling back down to that 250, which is what he hit last year, I think. We'll look at this at the end of the... I'm fiending to look at the stats, but I'll wait till the end of the episode. Also, it'll just be redundant. Um, Alright, another series win. Now we're back home against the Diamondbacks, who are... Second last in their division. Not looking too good. I don't know, we seem to suck against like bad teams, so. Alright, so this is uh, Keller's second start, I believe. Uh, I think. He was okay. His ERA is kind of high, but he was good for his uh, first game. Keller. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, it's 100% gonna want me to swap out Dowling, so I'll put Davis in. And. I mean, we're 
probably gonna put Chavis in the third. And uh, it might ask me to take a Vaughn. We'll see. Oh. <laughs> I should have. Uh, well, I guess that's fine. I don't like a slow dude in the eighth spot. But I guess I can. I would have to put Cruz all the way down there. Man, Cruz is hitting 207. first step back there for Keller. Aaron Judge, oh yeah. Yo, Diamondbacks are actually loaded. In the offseason, they picked up so many guys. They got uh, Judge and Muncy, I remember that. At least he didn't get hit around that inning. There's no way he's making it out of the inning, probably. Jesus Christ! Okay, I'm. I'm through with Sutherland now, he's gone. Davis, three for three. Okay, now actually pinch hit, please. Huge. <laughs> How are you getting thrown out when we're down so much? Man, imagine our pitching wasn't so bad. Oh, are we doing this? Only down four now. <laughs> oh, well that, that game's totally on the pitching.
could stand up the rest of the way. Man. 11 to 7 final in this one. Arizona put on a real offensive show with 11 runs on the board. Levi Kelly notches his third win of the year. Mitch Keller couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that's a Sutherland gave up five runs, but none of them were. Oh, there was an error, wasn't there? Two errors on Escobar. So Sutherland didn't get any, but he let in five runs. I'm I'm counting that against them. Yeah, Killer wasn't good. Oh, did Escobar make a... He must have made an error. An error when Killer was pitching, and then another one when Sutherland was pitching. Disgusting. We gotta replace uh, Sutherland, though. He's just... And you know, we might be swapping Keller for someone else. I'm gonna give Keller one more start, probably. Uh, but I think I think we gotta replace. I think we gotta replace Sutherland. Man, he was so good last year, though. All right, who's coming up? I'm gonna have to DFA him then, because uh, I need the 43 man spot. Unless we switch Perdomo to uh, a relief pitcher. I don't know, 63? I feel like you gotta... That's a little high to be switched on the long early. Like Zach Thompson could be, uh... Is he still in the 40, man? Oh... Did he pitch this year? No. Because he was bad last year, but... He's doing okay on, uh... He's only pitched four innings, though. But I won't have to. I won't have to mess with the uh, forty man if I bring him up. Oh, Smelter. Yeah, maybe we bring Smelter up. <laughs> Put him as long man because he's uh. These guys haven't pitched any innings, but <sighs> I'd rather do that than start editing, guys. Oops. Alright, Sutherland. And Tom Smelter. Okay, let's do that. So, Sutherland. The Triple A. Smelter. Coming up. Um, guess we'll put Sutherland down here. Oh, well, that's actually no, it's not too bad. Let's put him. There. Man, Joe Jacques looks pretty good. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, we'll keep Carmen here as the long relief. And Smelter would be long relief for us. Birdie, I'm still gonna keep up. Now, if Keller is not good after this next start, uh, if I bring, I don't think I can send Dillion down if I bring him up though. Baker's good. I mean, my aid is looking really good. I'm, we might have to 
Let him go again. Uh, lineups. Bradley's Bradley's being real bad. We might have to start uh, uh, start putting Davis in there because he's looking pretty good. He can play first, so that's actually might what I might do that actually. Ortega. Take is probably gonna have to go down too. Got a lot of, a lot of extremes here. How are the Brewers doing? Yeah, we lost, lost one, lost one. We're still two games, so we haven't even moved. And we are. Tied for first, still in the wild card. Let's, let's get these trim. Oh, scouting is good. It's not. Yeah. All right, let's throw saving. What do we got? One more sim. Montes, Montes sim. I think that's right. Right, some Montes. Yeah. Montes versus Zach Gallon. Right hander. Um, Alright, let's see what. Uh, everyone's so tired. Montes is a little tired. Eh? Look at all these guys, they're exhausted. Reynolds. Man, Reynolds is disgusting this year. This is OPS 11 18. Look at, like, he's already hit 10 home runs. And he's only had 111 at bats. He might need to get it extended. Just disgusting. It's gonna have max day of contact from either side, eventually. Power not going up, which is weird, like. And he's lost discipline. Is he striking out more? Oh yeah, he might be striking out way more. Interesting. Uh, Bradley's sitting this because he's not doing anything and Davis will play first. Um. They're probably gonna get me to sit Vaughn, but just in case. And I keep uh, keep having the uh, I keep switching out Chavis and Hayes, and Hayes is never gonna get at bats. But Chavis is just so hot. Um, Switch, switch. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't actually like that. Let's go with that, actually. Hmm. Let's actually put crew. I don't. I like to throw a lefty in the middle of all these righties, but. I don't want someone slow right behind Montes. And I don't want Shavis down there. Alright, let's see if it asks me to get a Vaughn. Vaughn, which means Ortega has to come in. I think this is, uh... Ortega's gotta do something in this game. Else I am gonna send him down. the split. Just put some up a bit more. Right, right, left, right, left. Okay. Oh, hmm. Yeah, let's swap these. 
Okay. Yeah, Ortega's gotta do something. Take a single. Monta single. Carlson single. Is this the second time the bases have been loaded for Reynolds? Oh, baby, there we go. Ortega singles again. One out. <laughs> oh, two hits from Montes. Wow, I want to see uh, Montes' strikeout total at the end of this game. Just another walk for Dallin. Ortega is perfect at the point. Nice. Sack one. That's not good. Oh, tire run on tire run on deck so Bender comes in. Okay. Well this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Eight four tonight. Pittsburgh took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Frankie Montes notches his third win of the year. Zach Gallant couldn't work out of the third inning taking the loss. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pizak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew on that Vaskersion. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. No errors. They left 12 men on base. All right, not the best, uh, not the greatest there from Montes with that grand slam, but uh, he did go six, six and uh, six and a batter. Um, Thank you for joining us here tonight. Let's see the Drive home safely. Shavis with that home run. 
Bender got a save for that, right? Because the hitter was on. Uh, yeah, he got one. Tying run was on deck. And Monsters had like hits, right? He had two hits. Uh, yeah, two at bats, two hits, one run. What's uh, what's his average? Sixty-seven. Ortega did shit. He had three at bats. He had two hits and a walk. Right. Uh, can't be hating on that. <sighs> I think uh, Dowling walked twice again, and uh, I think Davis had a hit. All right, scouting. Oh, I do want to see his report on that guy. What was it um, Sergio? Oh, he's not as he's not as sick as he looked. Sixty potential. How's he have? Wait, he's already seventy, but he has a sixty potential. Yeah. Is like the twenty eighty or whatever is different than the actual stats? Weird. Oh, we just whoops. Uh, scouting international. Nah. Oh. 80 contact, 80 power. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna scout this guy. Okay, that's uh, that's the Sims. Oh, Brewers lost. Now we're one behind. So we'll go next episode, go for the series win against Weaver, who is a righty. He's a what? He's a righty. Um, alright, let's take a look at the... They haven't used Smelter yet. I got... Yeah, we'll give Keller one more start. Um... And, uh, yeah, there's nothing really, the only thing in, for starters is Keller. And we'll see how Smelter does if he has to come in and, uh, keep an eye on, keep an eye on Birdie. Abreu still hasn't given up a run. Was this guy, did I trade for this guy? Yeah, I traded for him. Um, yeah, let's look at the lineups. Escobar's starting to cool off again. He was hot, cooled off, got hot again. Now he's starting to cool off again. But, uh, Reynolds is definitely not cooled off. Bradley, yeah, Bradley's hurting. Um, still got him for quite a while. Maybe he spent some time in AAA this year, and maybe he's... Can get his vision up. Phone's been okay. Uh, yeah, Ortega. He was good in that last game, so. I mean, he does have a track record. 270 at bats, 90, almost the whole season. Well, two thirds of the season. He's not really hitting for uh, a lot of power, though. Just lots of singles and walks. Dowling is cooled off, but he's still good. Cruz. Cruz is like hovering. Hovering in his normal spot. 240s. Yeah, Hayes has been shit. Um, thank God, Chavis has been decent. He hit another home run, right? He's almost, um... Tony at best, so he's... He's almost uh, up to where he was last year. If he can uh, retain his 20... Or regain his 2021... Well, his power. If he, get, if he regains that and hits like, hits this. That's, 
it's maybe time for him to start getting some stat increases. Kim's hitting 429, that's hilarious. <clears throat> uh, I think that's that's it. Uh, Davis, Davis has been good. But yeah, um, Ortega. If Ortega has to get sent down, it'll probably be Ciani. Even though he's so young, I don't really want to bring him up, but. He's a lefty. He can pinch run. I mean, he's hitting 330. Not a lot of power, but uh, amazing fielding. Defensive replacement. Pinch runner. Yeah. He looks like the guy. The only, I guess this is the other guy who, he's young too. Eh? I, I, well, he must have not played because his stats are all Increasing. Oh, Park's hitting 313. Interesting. What's the pitching going down here? Oh, God. Oh, this is double. Oh, double he started. How many games in are we? Oh, just one. I don't think I set the lineups properly, so. I'll probably do that after I'm done with this. Uh, triple A. Maybe I set this actually. Yeah, I actually might have set this. Maybe I didn't. I set the rotation. I might not have set the lineups. No, I did. Yeah, I set the lineups. Yeah, okay, um, I think that's it. Oh, we'll take a look at, um, League Leaders and Awards. Reynolds, number one in batting average, by a lot, too. 50-point difference, basically, 51. Reynolds the first with hits, Carlson fifth. Carlson Reynolds at bats, no doubles, no triples. Reynolds tied for first in home runs with Hap. It is strength, their uh, power stat increase. Oh, I guess uh, Reynolds is a one. Chavis is down there tied with fifth. Reynolds number one in RBIs. Tied for first in runs with Escobar. Who's our, are we even on this at all? Probably not. Oh, yes we are. Oh, Reynolds. He does everything. Oh, walks. Dowling, yeah, of course. It's time to start seeing some discipline stat increases on him. Round second from base. First in slugging. First in OPS. Mosses, saves. Benar. Benar has that one blown save, LCP. Tied in first. Ika, VRA 6th. 2nd in Pitching War. Montes is 7th in Pitching War. Reynolds number 1 in Batting War. What was, uh... What was his war last year? 6.8. Okay, so that is the Elite Leader. Awards. Oh, he won. I noticed he won. Uh, oops, he won like Player of the Month or something. I saw that flash up when we were when I was playing. Uh, yeah, there he goes. Player of the Month for April. Three ninety-five with seven home runs. All right. No, oh, that's not what I want to look at. Okay, MVP, Reynolds. Hmm. 
Reynolds could just be insane at the end of the year with the stats. Reynolds with the batting title. He's got like a huge point lead. It's early though, like 100 at bats or 14 at bats. Uh, Bernard in third for reliever. Maybe we see uh, Davis on here by the end of the year. Reynolds for the Hank Aaron Award. No gold Glovers. I, we were in the top five in fielding, so. Kind of surprising. Escobar for Silver Slugger for third base, even though he's playing second base. He'd probably be winning that if he's. Uh, Reynolds, of course. Yeah, okay. I think that's uh, all I really gotta go into. So yeah, uh, that was episode 5, I think. Next episode, go for a series win against the Diamondbacks, and then what else we got coming up? Off day, which is good because their deeds are all exhausted. Uh, then the Reds, and like a, a two game at Minnesota. How are the Reds doing? 6.5 games out. So they're not, they're not out of it. Um, but yeah. That'll be the episode. Uh, see you next time.